Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So I like to show you how to make a. It's going to be a meatloaf, but it's going to be the shape of a football, and inside the middle is going to be an onion. So we're going to call this uh, meatloaf stuffed with onion football meat <laughs> football shape meat loaf stuffed with an onion oh we'll, we'll try that out see how that works okay all right give it a thumbs up share the video subscribe check out my links below if you want to support this channel okay let's do it okay here I have about a pound and a quarter of hamburger Let's start with some seasonings, some Lowry seasoning salt. Black pepper. Sassoon everything. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little milk to my ground beef. I usually do that. It makes it softer. Okay, that's about three tablespoons of milk. You can put milk in or you can leave it out. It is optional. Okay, now we're going to add one egg. Okay. And I have here some breadcrumbs. You can use any kind of breadcrumbs you have. Okay. Okay, that's probably a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I use three of the serving spoon size, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna, oh, and the garlic. I'm gonna add the garlic. That's equal to a tablespoon of garlic. Okay, now we're going to mix this up. You want it to be a little firm. So let me show you this. You see? It's pretty firm, right? But not too hard because the milk helps help to break that. Okay, so now we're gonna try to do our shapes of football. Let's see how this is going to work. So I'm going to take a piece, just like you was going to make a hamburger, about that much. Alright, so if you want to flatten it out, like that. 
Let's put the onion. I already cut the onion up. This is, I think it was uh, about three or four small size onions. Alright, and now we're just going to cover the onion. If you have to add more ground beef, add more ground beef. Pinch it so you can close it up. I don't know if we can get this into the shape of a football or not. Let's see. I'm going to try. That's my aim. Yeah, I think I can do it. There we go. How about that, huh? Okay. And then we're going to continuously do that until we do it. Comes we um, use all the hamburger. Make it flat. Put the onion in the middle. Keep bringing the ground beef up over the onion. Now we got to shape it like a football. Pinch it if you see some openings. There we go. Okay. Put it in the middle. Bring the ground beef up over the onion. Shape it like a football. There we go. Now this one obviously to me looks a lot bigger than those two. So I'm going to take some off so I can try to get it uniform. So that they cook at the same time. That's a little better. Okay? Okay. Shape it like a football. Try to make your points on the end if you can. Okay. And the last one. Shaping it. There we go. 
Okay. So now we have four of them. I'm going to use this same um, pan. Let me just wash my hands. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little oil drizzled, very lightly, you can see. Okay, now we're going to just sit them in. Okay, so now I'm going to put them in the oven on 400 until they get done. I'm going to um, check the temperature before I take them out and I'll let you know what the temperature is and we'll take it from there. Okay, after they cook three-fourths the way before I take them out, we're going to put some ketchup over them. Alright, and then put them back in the, to glaze. Okay. One second, let me put them in and I'll give you the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day is our President, uh, President Donald Trump signed into order today, Friday, uh, a order to reduce the cost of prescription drugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. President, for that because a lot of people are suffering trying to just get their medicine because they need to live and you know I am so happy that someone got a hold of this situation so I give you your props and I give you your praise because we all need that thank you President Donald Trump you got the number one spot today okay that's the word of the day, a very important word of today. All right, we're waiting on the uh, meatloaf to come out the oven, okay? Thanks. Okay, so you can see um, our meatloaf football stuffed onion meatloaf is here. And as you can see, they opened up, right? Now, the reason why they would open up is you don't have enough meat on there around the onion or the onion created some fluid and had it to open up. So all I'm going to do for that is, if I can, let's see, yeah. Just gonna flip that over to the bottom. And I'll show you. Okay, so I flipped them over so I can put the ketchup on. So now we're just going to put some ketchup on here. Let it drizzle all down the sides.
Okay, now I'm just going to put this back in the oven for like three minutes just for the ketchup to glaze over. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, so our football, onion stuff, meatloaf, <laughs> mini meatloafs are out. This is three of them. The other two I already have on a plate for you to see. Along with some cheese broccoli that I made in a previous setting. You like that? I love it. So let's taste, okay? One second. I want you to see the onions. I cut it right in half so that you can see that. Isn't that nice? And the onion is nice and soft. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to just eat some. Mmm. onion kept that meatloaf nice and juicy. The onion has a little crunch to it. It is done. Great flavor. I like the idea. I like the idea. Okay. You try yours. See how you like it and let me know, okay? Give it a thumbs up. I think you like this one. Share the video. Subscribe. Check out my links below. Love you. Bye.